All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how you can back up your iPhone for free. Now, obviously, you know that you can back up your iPhone to iCloud, but Apple only gives us five gigabytes of free space, which is an absolute joke. Uh, it's definitely not enough, and your backups are definitely going to exceed that. So there's no way for you to back up to iCloud without paying for an iCloud subscription, which is a monthly cost. And I know a lot of people don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you how you can back up your iPhone for free. I'm also going to show you how you can transfer your backups to an external drive so that it's not taking up space on your computer because some of these backups can be very, very large. And if you don't have that much space on your MacBook, you could be eating up a lot of your uh, hard drive space, which is probably not the best thing. So if you do want to do that, you're just going to need an external drive. I'll leave a link to these in the description below, so be sure to check those out. But to get things started, the first thing we're going to do is back up our phone to our MacBook. If you're a PC user, you can skip to the later part of the video. Now, MacBooks don't have a USB-A uh, port so I have this little converter where I can uh, stick this into here and then connect this to my MacBook all right now once you got your iPhone connected simply open up your finder window and then under locations tap on your iPhone and then in this window there's this little backup section right here so to back up to your MacBook what you're going to do is want to select this second option right here and then just hit backup now now it's going to ask you if you want to encrypt your backup this is up to you if you choose not to encrypt your backup it's not going to uh, back up sensitive information like passwords and stuff like that so if you ever use this backup in the future you will need to re-log in to all of your accounts uh, but if you do encrypt the backup then you'll need to create a password and if you do go this route just make sure you do not lose this password because if you lose this password you will not be able to recover this backup it's going to be gone forever so if you do set a password make sure you save it somewhere and don't forget it but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to select don't encrypt and now you'll actually get prompted to put your password on your iphone so just put in your password and once you do that, your backup should start. All right, guys, so there you go. The backup has started. You can see the little progress bar down here. Now, how long it will take your phone to back up does depend on how much data is on your phone. Obviously, the more data, the longer it will take. But at this point, all you need to do is sit back and wait for it to finish. And then we'll be back as soon as it's done. All right, guys, so there you go. That took maybe 15 to 20 minutes to do a full backup of my iPhone. And then we can click on here to manage backups to see all of our backups. And you can see this one happened today at 1.18 p.m. And we can see all of our previous backups. And we can, of course, delete our backups. Now, one thing you guys need to know is when you do a backup of your phone, it will actually delete the previous backup of your phone. So if I were to backup my phone again, this backup from today would actually be deleted. Now, if you want to preserve your old backups, what you need to do is right click on this and then tap R archive and this will actually archive your backup so that next time you do another backup it will not overwrite all of your previous ones so just be sure that if you want to keep older backups you go ahead and archive them because if you don't you're going to overwrite them and the reason it behaves like this by default is because backups are fairly large and if you have a whole bunch of backups on your computer it is going to eat away at your storage but that's pretty much everything you need to do to back up your iphone to your macbook now let's see how to do it on a pc now, when it comes to backing up your iPhone to your PC, the only extra step you'll need to take is to download the iTunes application from your Microsoft Store onto your computer. So just go ahead and do that. But if you already have it, all you need to do now is connect your iPhone to your PC using the Thunderbolt cable. And when you do that, you'll get a prompt on your iPhone to enter your password just to authenticate to this computer. So just go ahead and put in your password. And once you've done that, you should see a little icon of a phone appear on your iTunes Store. Go ahead and click on that and that will take you to a very similar interface as we saw on the MacBook. Now right here in the middle under backups, just be sure to select this computer to back up your phone to this computer. And then all you need to do now is tap backup now. You'll get a little pop up here that'll ask you if you want to encrypt your backups. Now remember, if you do want to encrypt it, it will save all of your passwords. So if you ever restore this in the future, it will have all of your passwords, but it will ask you for a password for this backup. So just be sure you do not lose that password because if you do lose it, you will not have access to the this backup and you will not be able to restore it for the purpose of this video i'm not going to encrypt my backup so i'm just going to click don't encrypt and that's it we're all set now all we need to do is sit back and wait for our iphone to back up and it will be saved to our pc all right guys so that's how you back up your iphone for free to your macbook and your pc now the last thing i want to show you is how to take your backups and transfer them to an external hard drive so they're not taking up space on your actual computer because these can be fairly large especially if you're taking multiple backups it could definitely eat away at your storage so all you need to do is plug your external drive into your computer and then navigate to this path right here so if you're in a 
a MacBook, you're going to go to this path. And if you're on a PC, you're going to go to this path. And I will leave this, these in the description below. So because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go on this path and then we're going to open up Finder by hitting Command Space, pasting that path, hitting Enter, and then just tapping on that backup folder. And you can see right here, I have two backups of my iPhone. So all we're going to do now is open up our external drive in a new Finder window. And you can see on my drive, I already have this backups directory here. And now from our computer, just go ahead and select the folders of your backup. Make sure you select the actual folder and not the contents within it like this. Just make sure you select the whole parent folder. Uh, so I'm going to grab both of these and then just drag them over to my drive and drop them there. And now we just wait for it to transfer everything to our external drive. This could take a few minutes depending on how large your backups are and the speeds of your drive, obviously. But we can just sit back and let these transfer over. And then once it's complete, we can go ahead and delete these backups from our computer. All right, there we go. The transfer is now complete. So you can see these backups are now on my external drive. So now on my MacBook, I can just go ahead and move these to trash and delete them off my computer. So now they're not taking up any space on my MacBook. And in the future, if I ever want to access any of these backups and restore them to a new iPhone, all I need to do is transfer them back to the computer, then go back to the backup section in the Finder window and then hit Restore Backup and just select which backup we want to restore. Right now you can see I don't have any backups because I've transferred them off of my laptop and deleted them. But when I put these back into this backup path on my MacBook locally, you'll see it show up here. You can select it and back it up to your new iPhone. So there you go guys, that's pretty much how you back up your iPhone for free to a MacBook or Windows PC and how you can store it on an external hard drive. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos to come and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.